two millimeter back cut. This is a little bird there. Cool. That's pretty much exactly what I want. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Okay. So that's what we have. Just need to deburr in here. Actually, you need to deburr around, but once we deburr it, it should be good. Now drilling for an in pipe hole. Just finished running my starter tap through these, and um, starter tap's got the single band on it. Now this one here with the two rings in it, two grooves, two bands, whatever you want to call it. This is main intermediate. What I notice with these taps when I use them is that because they run to size. It's not until you run the uh, the plug tap through that you actually get to size. What I notice is that they have seem to have very little pressure on them as far as cutting goes. They go through very very easily. Um, Because each tap is only taking a little bit at each uh, little cut each time. It's only a very a very light cut, um, and I'm tapping right down the full depth of the tap. There, I'm actually biting it out on the shoulder, so we're tapping to the ship. We'll stand here, so hopefully you'll get a, get it in focus. I'm tapping right to the shoulder, right to the shoulder. 
So that's the depth we're going, which is about three quarters of an inch, 19, 20 millimetres, it's probably 20 millimetres behind the metric tap. I haven't bothered to measure it. But when you're doing it, you can feel that there's very little pressure on it. Um, compared to a lot of the taps that I'm used to using anyway. And that's on the shoulder. Now if I go to put a screw on these now, it starts and it binds. Again. So now we'll go to the plug tap, which has nothing on the shank. It's got the rest of everything in focus except for what we actually want. Okay, so there's nothing on the shank there. This is a plug tap, and we'll run that through. Just got to be a little bit careful with these because there you go. I don't have much lead in, but as you can see again, there's, there's very little pressure on it when it's cutting. Because the chip's so small, you really don't need to, uh, you don't seem to need to actually back it off to uh, break them off, and I've noticed that that is a common trait on um, all of these taps. It's very rare that I actually have to have to turn backwards to break the chip off because it's um, so small and so delicate. It just seems to be uh, self-clearing. It's just me breaking that one off. for some reason. Yeah, there we are, the bottom. You notice I haven't even bothered blowing out the um, blowing anything out in this because it's uh, <coughs> I made these uh, holes sufficiently deep. Cool. We'll give these a blow out in a minute, but basically that's going to sit on there like that. These are made heavy on the back so that they open up and they clear and they hang. And then we tighten them down and we'll hold the uh, hold the piece in. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back later.
need to be a little bit careful with this because we've got enough heat here, it might actually get a bit more action than what we wanted. Come back once, uh, actually, no, this is cool enough to be. There we go. Get that out of the way with that. It's just a fraction too warm to hang on to for any period of time. Won't grab this yet. As you can see, there's a little bit of banding in this, but that's not going to worry me one iota. A little bit of uh, colour change in that in it actually makes it a little bit interesting. Alrighty, I suppose the only thing left to do is to go and get some blades and do some sharpening. Thanks for watching.